Hello everybody, my name is Trent and today I will be teaching you how to make games for the Shitsui Ami specification which basically means that you'll be able to make games for old Java phones and even some Symbian phones although I'm not sure if the newer versions of Symbian also support this So anyways, the first thing we are going to want to do is to download the file that I've left linked in the description so we're just going to download it and extract it from desktop and I've already done that and once you do that we're just going to get inside it here we have three folders we're going to enter in Java and we're going to download Shady K150 I just sorry install uh, we're just going to wait we're going to accept the terms we're going to click next we're just going to wait a little bit here and then we're just going to click next we're not going to install microsoft internet explorer we're going to wait again we're going to click on finish and now we're going to install sun java wireless toolkit we're going to click on yes We're going to click on next, accept, next, next, and we're going to click next. We're not going to check for product updates, it's not like they're going to update this tool anytime soon, so we're just going to click next, next, we're going to wait for the install to complete. And then we're going to click finish okay so now we've got Java and the wireless toolkit installed so anyways once we have Java and the wireless toolkit installed we're going to go back to the tutorial files and now we're going to click on Eclipse and we're going to extract Eclipse we're going to extract Eclipse Java Ganymede we're just going to extract everything We should see a file called Eclipse, we're just going to cut it and we're going to paste it onto Drive C. We're going to enter and we're going to make a shortcut. We're going to leave the shortcut on the desktop. And now we're going to go back to the Eclipse, uh, we're going back to the Eclipse file, folder I mean, and we're going to extract Eclipse Me feature. And now we have this folder, we're just going to leave it in the desktop. And we're going to close this folder. And we're going to open Eclipse. And we are going to click OK. So now we need to add uh, Eclipse ME to this uh, installation. So to do that, we're going to click on Help, Software Updates. We're going to go to Available Software. We're going to add site, local, we're going to go to desktop, we're going to click Eclipse Me feature. So now we're just going to click accept. Okay, this is not a problem. We're going to click refresh. This is not a problem either. We're going to add this. We're going to click install. We're going to see Eclipse Me. And it's going to be version 1.7.9 so we're just going to click next we're going to accept we're going to click finish and we're going to restart eclipse so now we're going to click ok again and that should be almost everything but before we can get to making our games we have to click on window preferences shade to me we have to click here on the little arrow, I have to click device management and we have to import. For this we are going to click import here and we are going to browse. We are going to go to uh, machine, uh, drive C. I am going to go to this folder WTK 2.5.2. We are just going to click accept and we're now we are going to click refresh. We're going to let it have access to everything. 
and we should see this. So we're going to click finish and we're going to select default color phone as the default. Okay, so now we've got all of the tools set up. So all we need to do is go, <coughs> sorry, all we need to do is go to file, new, project, shade to me, shade to me, mid suite. Now we're going to give the project a name. In this case, we're going to call test. We're going to select default color phone, make sure that we're just going to call the application description test.shot. That's already done. So we're just going to click finish. And this folder should appear over here in the package explorer. Remember to exit out of the welcome screen by just clicking the X there on the welcome screen, not on this. We're just going to open this folder. We're going to right click on the, the source folder. And we're going to make new class. We're going to put it in the in the package uh dk.test.pk. Yeah, let's just call it that. Um, we're going to call, call this class test. We're going to finish. Now we're going to click again on dk.test.package. And we're going to click new class. And this are, we're going to call test canvas. Okay, so now we have our classes made. We just need to go onto our desktop again. We're going to go to tutorial files, Eclipse. Sorry, wrong file. We're going to go tutorial files, sample, sample. And we're going to select everything here. We're going to copy it. We're going to paste it onto our test.java. We're just going to paste it over here. Don't worry about the error. We're going to go onto test canvas.java. We're now going to go back to our onto our folder uh, we're going to open sample canvas just copy and paste this again make sure that the package name here is the same as the package name here if you don't it won't work so anyways now that we have that done we can just click on run and we see here a black screen, which is what we wanted. We can also test, for example, uh, make it green. There we go. Now it's green. Okay, so now that we have all of our code copied, uh, we have to just go ahead and package it so we can actually run it on our phones. And to do this, we're going to first click Source Properties. We're going to just copy this, so we have to copy the T. We're going to copy all of that, click OK. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to open a new uh, file explorer. And we're going to paste that there. We should see something that looks mostly like this. So we're going to open a new window, a file explorer, of course. And now we have to go ahead and open wireless toolkit 2.5.2 if you don't see this on your desktop just search for it on the taskbar and now we're going to open it and we should see something like this now we just have to click on file new project we're going to call it test and for the midlet class name we're going to go back to eclipse we're going to copy our name or package name I put a little space there accidentally, so we're just going to take that out. Dot test. This is basically our main midlet class, and it's ba it's basically the most important part here. We're going to create project now. This is the API selection. I will explain this a little bit later. So now we have this, and it will tell us to put our Java source files in uh, this folder. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, go to our second window, the one we just opened, and we will see this again, a few folders. It should look like that. We're going to open our other, our other, our other file explorer, and we're going to just go ahead and copy all of these three folders, and we're going to paste them there. Yes, yes, yes. And now we can go back into this program, 
we can click run and you will see that it's working so now we're just going to go ahead and click build and it's telling us that it's completed so we're gonna go ahead and package it so now it's made the package and now we can finally go ahead and sign it there we go it's signed and now we will just need to send just the test.shar file onto our phone which is located here some phones also require the .shad file um, but that's not really that important for most of them and it should work fine but if it doesn't work it might be because we are using the wrong api to change which api we're using we're going to go on to project we're going to clean first and we're going to go into settings and the first thing we're going to see is the api selection so on the description i've left a document with the phones that I have been tested at least by me and we, you can see which one which target platform works for them but usually if msa doesn't work you can just try with shay no sh sorry shay twi which should work but if it doesn't work you should check the document to see if your phone model is there and also if you have another if you test this on a non-tested phone uh please make sure to uh tell me and i will add it to the document so it's easier for everyone else thanks uh, we can, you can change it like that and we just uh, recompile just as we did build project package create package sign sign trusted key the play button there and there we go now we just need to send our that that char file and in some cases add our shad file and uh, it should work remember again they're here so I'll uh, now we're showing you uh, this running on an actual phone. So now here we can oh sorry, turned off. Here we can see the the phone running on our app. You know the, the green screen. Uh, in the next tutorials, I'll be teaching you how to write images to the screen. Uh, next, I'll be telling you how to write how to get input from the user. Um, maybe a few other things, maybe audio will be kind of nice. But well, I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.